So, I made a small purchase. Um, I bought him, him, uh, I bought him on November 26, 2016, um, oh my god, let me show you him, he's no Giuseppe. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby boy. That's my baby boy. Where's your face? Where's your fat chip? There you go. He's teething. So he doesn't stop chewing. I got him. Where you go? I got him one of these things. They're the puppy bones by Kong. He loves it. So every time he starts gnawing on me, I just shove one of them in his face. And he adores them. There you go, baby. The tape on his ears is to cone them straight. His ears are fully healed, but because ears are made of cartilage, they have to be kind of coned straight. Um, yes, his ears are cropped. I'm sorry if you have a problem with that. It's just a tradition with miniature schnauzers. He is a black miniature schnauzer. Um, and miniature schnauzers were used as ratters. So they would crop their ears and cut their tails short so that the rats couldn't grab hold of their ears or their tail and hurt them. So um, to keep with the tradition, most purebreds have cropped ears and tails just to make them look traditional. He is phenomenal. He looks like a mop. He hasn't had his big boy haircut yet. His big boy haircut comes on Friday at 9.30. Um, but he's amazing. Uh, today is the beginnings of day three with him. The beginnings of day three. Right? Yeah. And he's madly in love with his mommy. I think he's madly in love with me because I held him on the car ride home. And he just feels a little attached to me. Let me lower my leg. He just feels a little attached to me because of that. And uh, he just came back from the beauty parlor. Um. Let me turn the camera around. That's him. He will be 12 weeks old tomorrow. And uh, he's, um, he is full of piss and vinegar, man. He is, holy shit. He's a handful and a half. I uh, brought him out to see my other dog on Long Island, the eight-year-old. Give me the bunny. Um, I brought him out to see the eight-year-old, Woofy, and Woofy is an alpha dog. Giuseppe didn't give two shits, man. Giuseppe was like, fuck you, I'm gonna kick your ass. And uh, the two of them had an amazing time together. It was like an hour of fun for the both of them. They loved it. They absolutely adored it. Um, they had a great time together, so it was wonderful. Um, I got him from a breeder in Pennsylvania, and, uh, he's, he's perfect. He's perfect. His one ear on this side, um, tilts in a little bit. I just have to retape it, um, for four days, uh, just like in a coned position and hopefully the cartilage will harden and you know it'll look normal but if not I don't give a shit I'm not gonna show him um, I don't care he's perfect the way he is but you know I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see but if not whatevs um, 
I try to do the most research I can for breeders. My first dog, Chichi, uh, we bought from a pet breeder, not a show breeder. Chichi wound up costing our family about $40,000 in vet bills because he was so poorly bred. Um, he had so many problems. And uh, it was horrible. Um, you know, it, it wasn't a puppy mill sort of dog, but uh, Chichi was just not bred right. Um, and uh, the second one, Bruno, Woofy, um, or as I refer to him as, you know, the Woofy the Fat Bastard, because <laughs> uh, he's just a chubby sack of shit. Um, you know, he is, he's from a show breeder in North Carolina. He's healthy as fuck. And um, I did my research to get this guy. And he was expensive as hell. But I don't care because I'm going to be saving a lot of money in vet bills. So it was a hell of an investment and he's worth it. Um, I couldn't love him more if I tried. Uh, you guys know that I am, um, I had a hysterectomy. So I can't make babies even if I wanted to. The only way I could have kids is if I uh, adopted. Well, I adopted a fuzzy one. And um, he will only sleep on me or in the cage if I put him in there. Um, his cage is hilarious. It's big enough to fit a Labrador. He has a couch. That's his couch. He, uh, it's too high for him to jump on. Um, that's his lamb chop right there. That's lamb chop. Um, he's a, he's a spoiled little sack of shit. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way because he's worth it. He is so worth it. It's ridiculous. I love him so much. Um, I just wanted to introduce him to you guys. Dogs are just something that, uh... I've always been really good with. Um, I don't know why. Always have. Some of you guys probably are the same way. Um, it's just, it's either kind of like a, I don't know the right word. I mean, you guys know my word finding skills are kind of off uh, since the aphasia. Um, but I can't think of a better word other than gift. Um, so maybe, uh, maybe just, uh, Attaching well with dogs is kind of like a gift, I guess. Um, but I attach really well with dogs. Almost any dog. Um, I've never had a problem with any dog in my whole life. Uh, aggressive dogs, passive dogs, I've never had an issue. Didn't make a difference. Um, this little sack of shit, he is a mama's boy. Um, to the point where it actually bothers Justin and JJ a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, hopefully he opens up. It's only been six days, you know. He'll probably open up over time. But, uh, yeah, he's just a baby. It's okay. Um, but, uh, God damn, he's wonderful. He's my angel. But he's a freaking devil, man. Holy shit. And he's got a mouth on him. Woo, he's a get get on. He doesn't shut the fuck up. I don't want him to be a yapper. But uh, I got to work on that because he don't shut up. But um, we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted you guys to... I just wanted you guys to meet him. I love you guys. I hope your Thanksgiving was amazing. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.